Hey guys, welcome back to Dead All Peace Show. I'm Mikey L the Gamer. The name of the game is Sonic Colors for the Wii. We're getting ready to start Act 4 of Tropical Resort. Well, to be perfectly honest, there's really not a lot to explain here. This is pretty much just the fourth act. Um, it's the uh, shortest act in Tropical Resort. And, uh, yeah, I wish there was more to comment on here, but uh, given that we don't have all the wisp powers that we need in order to uh, grab all of the... Um, oops, in order to grab all of the... Uh, red rings that we want. We're pretty much just limited to blasting straight through the stage. I'll grab a few rings, but that's pretty much all we can do. Oh, well, looks like that uh, didn't help us out very much. We really do need to come back here, especially after getting the, uh, the yellow wisp, which gives us the drill ability. And then there will be a lot more to show in Act 4. But I got plenty to show coming up in Act 5. Oh, an extra life. To the maximizing modulation oh, the framostatic capacitor to the maximizing ma modulization of I user thingy. Out, What's it? Why didn't I think of that? Oh man, that was crazy! Oh, I was reconfiguring my handheld into a translator so I can understand this guy. Did you go somewhere? Didn't you see? I absorbed those aliens and got powered up with, like, some kind of wild energy. And after a few seconds, they'd pop out of me. Uh, I find that hard to believe. But a giant water god popping out of the Master Emerald, a giant lizard in space with a space colony shoved up its ass, an ancient black kind of alien race thingy that gave its DNA to create Shadow the Hedgehog. You know, that's all totally plausible. Uh, suspend your disbelief, asshat. Okay, next up is Act 5. Got plenty to show off here. Uh, now that I think about it, I don't think that this is the stage that I... No, it's not. I'm gonna need to come back here when I got the Pink Whisk. But I thought uh, Act 5 was the stage where I could um, kind of break the rules of the game, go against the designer's wishes, and get all five of the red rings within one run. But it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to do that. I think the first one I'm going to get through this run is maybe the, the third one? Yeah, I think I'm going to get the third one, because I think you need... Yeah, you do need the pink spikes to get the second and first. Now. Whoa! Hey. You're supposed to die. There we go. Bash to these guys. And use the laser wisp right here. I said use the laser wisp right here. There we go. Oh no, it's the second one? Oh, well that's not bad. I'm still pretty confident that I can get an S rank in this stage, though. Uh, especially if I can make these balloons cooperate so I can get up here. There we go. Okay, so... Uh, come on. There we go. These balloons don't want to... There we go. All right. See, what's supposed to happen is I'm supposed to use the laser to bounce through all of those... Um, targets there and hit that little conduit you see on the wall on the opposite side of Sonic, but uh, that would only allow me to get the uh, fifth and final red ring. I'd have to come back with the pink spikes later. Well, I'm going to have to come back uh, with, with the pink spikes in order to get the first one, but it is absolutely like required to get that one, but... What the designers, I think, intended is for me to uh, use the pink spikes to also go along those gray blocks in order to get that red ring but, that you see right here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to bounce off this balloon, that balloon, that balloon, use the uh, laser right there, and then there. I got that, and I got that. So, okay, this was the one that I was thinking of where I could possibly get an S rank. 
which I did. And, uh, but it's, I guess I was wrong about being able to get all five rings in one run. Oh, come on. There we go. Well, still a lot better than I thought I'd do. And on to Act 6. Oh. Yeah, I'm being a little greedy with the rings again. Don't mind me. This is a, another pretty short act. It's just, it's strictly side-scrolling. I'm not going to get much progress in it. This is another one where, if I'm not mistaken, I do have to come back with the Pink Wisp. Come on, you're not going to escape from me, ring. Down the zip line. Oh, okay. There's that one. I don't need to break those blocks. They're just set for 10 points each. They're gonna they're not gonna make a difference. Yeah, there you go. There's the capsule for the pink spikes. The uh the uh, other red ring is down there through those spikes, which I could break through if I had the uh, spikes ability. And uh, rotate around on these. I think I have them to position to a point where I'm not gonna need to wait for them to spin anymore. And oh, oh that, that made me look stupid. There we go. Four out of five, not bad. Only C rank, huh? Oh, B! Come on. There we go. I think that's all I'm going to get. I don't think I'm going to get another one for breaking that four. And we're on to the boss of Tropical Resort. But first, a cutscene. 23, 24, 25. Ah, not nearly enough aliens. Want us to get more? No, I want you to get me a cheeseburger and a shake. That'll be easier. Cheeseburgers don't run as fast as them little alien varmints. Idiot. Get me more aliens! Y'all want fries with that? No! I reckon that hurt a bit. Wait a minute, I need to go over yonder. Sorry. Hmm. Precious little aliens! I'll harness their hyper go on power, and then nothing will stop me. I know I say that every time, but this time, really, nothing will stop me. <laughs> Most? What? Sonic! Who are you calling nothing? Huh? He means since the boss said nothing will stop me, and Sonic here is going to stop him, it's like the boss was calling Sonic nothing. Great! I thought nobody would get that. Fine. You're so smart, robot. You take care of this mess. Release the big boy. At least I know he won't screw it up. Hasta la bye bye, suckers! Guess it's time for me to start stopping. Oh. Okay, this is the Tropical Resort boss, Rotatatron. What we want to do here is score one hit. Uh, he actually takes three hits, but if we could manage to get ourselves a uh, Cyan Wisp, we could strike his hand, and that would take us straight to his head, and that would hit for two points, or it, it counts as two hits when you actually hit a boss enemy with a wisp. So, there you go. That's the strategy to beat him in uh, well, a little under 30 seconds. And I think that will warrant us with an S rank. Yeah, the bosses in this game are a joke, and uh, 
they repeat themselves. The first three bosses are pretty diverse between themselves, but the last three bosses are just upgraded versions of the first three bosses. Did a little shopping, grabbed a bite to eat, and trashed a giant killer robot. Oh, really? And they've got shopping here, too? This place has everything. Hey, so how's your translator thingy coming along? Uh, I think it's done. It's in binary code, so only I can read it. You know, for a super genius, Tails really isn't all that okay, smart. It's cool. actually written in hexadecimal, Who not binary you? code. Um, really, at, watch, at the end of the game, it actually shows the screen on the display of his little Miles electric device. It's written in hexadecimal. There's actually a little message written in the hexadecimal for people who want to try to decode it. Yeah, uh, I think your machine still has some bugs. Yeah. I think I can figure this out, though. Okay, he said his name is Yakker. He's from a race of beings called Wisps. Wisps? No, Wisps, with a W. Yeah, I'll just stick with aliens if that's okay with everybody. And with that said, I feel like I'm a little kid again, watching the adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog on weekday mornings. We'll be picking up pieces of that fourth wall for years to come. Running around trashing robots, I saw a map that had a couple of interesting places. I think I'll go check them out and maybe save some aliens. The mouse man said to Wrangle have a piece of this mess. When you consider what we're doing from a robot's point of view, it's actually <laughs> my favorite line in the game. If you say so. I'm missing an arm. Have you got an arm? No, but really, how much can it matter? I guess it can't matter much. Yeah, really, how much? I mean, worst case scenario, one of the arms breached the hall of the space station, and you're going to have to deal with a leak of negative energy. But how could that... Ah, oh, crap, I hate being right. Okay, now we have a choice between going to the Sweet Mountain and the Starlight Carnival. But I'm afraid that's all the time I have for today. If you like my videos, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment in the comment section. This is That LP Show. I'm Mikey L. The Gamer. Thanks for watching.